activities on the Nigerian Exchange Limited, the NGX, returned to a positive uh, route following gains by blue chip firms. We're seeing the all share index there, uh, 48,675 is where it closed yesterday, up by 25 basis points, 3,751 uh, deals, 167 million shares that exchanged hands yesterday, valued at 3.3 billion naira, market cap at 26.2. The NGX, I think, up about 13% year to date. Joining us now uh, to discuss for the uh, Peter Abbey, equities trader uh, with Stambic IBTC stockbrokers. Peter, good morning to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Um, I, look, what, what do you make of the, uh, I guess, the market performance we saw yesterday and recent trends on the NGX? Uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, yesterday, market gained 25 basis points, like you mentioned. Uh, what we saw the previous day, we saw two banks release their half-year numbers, uh, Zenith and Stambic and also declared dividend, uh, interim dividend. This helped uh, to spur activities in the market. And if you look at the other sectors, uh, we saw marginal gains across board. Um, there are still interest in the dual listed names. These have been driving activities also. Uh, but when we strip out all this um, that, that I mentioned, uh, we still saw some bearish sentiments in the market. Uh, they are still there overall in the market. Thanks for that. So I guess, yeah, I, I did say in our intro, returns have gone from earlier it was 17% year to date, now 13 Do we attribute um, that drop to bearish sentiment uh, in the market? Yes. Um, to a large extent, uh, many of these companies released their half-year numbers and they are good. So when you look at the fundamentals, I'm not sure we have any problem with that. Uh, but I'll just sum it up like what we usually say in the capital market, that um, the stock market is a barometer of the economy. That's all I would say. Thank ah, you. <laughs> right, indeed. Um, look, you talked to a lot of clients um, that are interested in, in stocks here. W what's the mood? What's the sentiments from what, you know, your, your feel, you know, from what your clients are talking about when it comes to the equities market here in Nigeria? Uh, it's quiet, it's uh, bearish. Uh, we, we noticed that and um, there are a lot of uh, factors that we are contending with. The equity market is contending with fixed uh, income security is one with the possibility of rising uh, interest rates. Uh, we have inflation um, with uh, lower savings and investment. So these are all factors that uh, we battle with. And I guess it's a general economic thing. Uh, but however, those that know equities markets, we understand that uh, markets are in cycles. Uh, we have rise sometimes, it's peak at some time, dips at some time, and bottom out. So as situation improves, we expect a turn around in the market. Okay, great stuff. So we're heading to the final month of the third quarter of, of this year. Um, I guess, short term, how do you see activities on the market playing out? Well, um, I'm not expecting much uh, difference from what we have seen so far in the quarter. Um, what I will just say is that, I mean, because uh, some interim dividend have been declared, so we expect some reinvestment of this dividend into the market. Um, but going into September, which we know uh, uh, there will be more of political activity. So that will determine uh, more of the investors' uh, strategies going forward. Great stuff. All right, uh, uh, Peter, I'm going to take you out of your comfort zone. Uh, sorry, eh? from equities to talk real. I wanted to get your thoughts on, I guess, the federal government saying it's insensitive to restart the Abuja Kano uh, rail line because of the victims of the terror attack that, that you know, took place back in, uh, in March. Fair decision? What do you think? It's a good one. I mean, because we have a lot of guys out there that I can't see with so to make that decision is, is a good one. Mm. Um, look, when we talk about uh, the impact of insecurity on investment, I mean, you're on the equity side, uh, and I think we've seen the volumes of foreign traders versus domestic. I mean, for FX, the liquidity might be part of that reason. But what's generally, what, what's your take on how this insecurity is impacting investment coming into uh, into Nigeria? Uh, quite agree with you. It's one of the things that we always uh, have, in, when we have engagement with our investors, it uh, comes up every now and then. Uh, insecurity, uh, you mentioned FX and uh, other macro uh, inflation and stuff like that. So yes, security is one of the things that uh, every, every investor wish uh, much could be done in that area. 
Yeah, but again, actually, I'm going to take you back to the equities market, though. If we rank the list of items that you that you that you gave us uh, from fixed income rates, I, I think there was even a Treasury bill auction yesterday. The 365 is doing about 7.4, 7.5 percent. Um, those, though, as far as the bearish sentiment we're seeing, those would outrank insecurity. I mean, where would insecurity rank with everything else that you've listed? Um. But to, to, to be frank, it's, I, I still feel it's part of the whole thing. We can't separate it. Uh, um, we, we can't just have one fix the inflation. Everything goes I mean, yeah. hand in hand. Yeah. So once, once we have one sorted, then I, I believe uh, every other thing will we, we, we fall in place. Okay, I want to ask you this. Um, well, I want us to talk subsidies now and pricing. Um, well, first off, do you think we can ever see transport sectors like rail listed on the ngx we have the nmpc which is now a you know commercial entity should be listed i don't know two three years from now but when you look at the the model of the the rail the rail system um what do you think you think we can ever see it? we can ever you and i can ever be discussing that the uh, the rail corporation stock was up five percent on the ngx uh, well that's a possibility you mentioned an npc which uh is, is, I mean, will be listed anytime soon. Uh, but talk of road transport, we have some of these companies that are listed at some point. I think we still have one recently. So it's a great possibility. And of course, that has to move into privatization just the way NMPC is. And then we can start talking about listing in the market uh, for real. All right, but uh, 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 Peter, wh what about the the profitability of the rail system? I mean, we understand that those prices are being subsidized. Um, it was not too long ago that the um, in Lagos State here, I think they, were, they announced a, a, an even hundred naira increase for the BRT. Um, this subsidy matter still continues to pop up. Of course, fuel subsidies are there as well. But as far as pricing, this quasi-socialist system that we run, where we've got price caps on electricity tariffs, price caps on fuel subsidies, price caps on rail, price caps on busing, is, is that not an impact on a possible private sector player coming in, as you have talked about, to see an, a rail corporation listed on? Are these price caps not an issue in, in your view? Uh, well, I, I think we have to uh, fight our battle uh, as it comes. But trust me, every company has its own subsidy. I mean, in one way or the other. So we, you, you're talking about transport now, which possibly if we have it privatized, we may not have that, uh, so to say. But uh, um, it's, it's something, discussion that we have to have in the nearest time as it is listed. But... It's it definitely subsidy is something that every company has, and I'm not too sure we can actually wish that away. Mm, great point. Uh, finally, I'm not sure if you mentioned this earlier. Elections coming up, is that also going to be playing into sentiment on the market, I guess, you know, fourth quarter or maybe even first quarter next year? Yes. Um, you know, the way investors are, they plan ahead, and many are already doing their budgets, strategies are going on already. So, 2023 is already on the paper. So it's a factor that every uh, investor will look into or have been looking into. And that will also play a very good role in what we will see in the markets going forward. Great stuff. Uh, Peter Abbey, uh, equity trader, Stambik IBTC stockbrokers. Really appreciate you joining us today.